Hello, this is Bishop Jonathan Ferriol, and this is the Bishop's Take. I guess by now you are already missing physically attending our church services in our houses of worship, right? Honestly, I feel the same way too. Who wouldn't? It's only been two weeks and it feels like forever already. Understandably, we are already missing the face-to-face -face preaching of the Word of God, the uplifting songs of praise, the touching testimonies, the warm fellowship of the brethren, and yes, even the occasional dramas that go when we gather for our services. But all things considered, you and I would always prefer to be in our houses of worship any day, most especially during these uncertain times brought about by the coronavirus. But while social distancing is being enforced, we have no other choice but to stay at home and just connect with our churches via the technology of live streaming. And despite our misgivings about it, at least we have another layer of value added to our homes. From simply being our places of residence, well, now our homes have become places of worship, at least for the time being. That's great, isn't it? Don't you know that Christians didn't construct houses of worship or chapels and cathedrals until the beginning of the 4th century AD? According to church history, it was only during the reign of Emperor Constantine that Christians were given the freedom to construct houses of worship and temples so that they could gather there. But before that, especially during the first century biblical era, churches of Jesus Christ actually contented themselves gathering and fellowshipping in the private homes of the believers. For instance, when Peter was released from prison, the brethren were actually gathered praying in the house of Mary. And remember the incident when a young brother named Eutychus fell from a ledge because he fell asleep while Apostle Paul was giving a long message? Ouch! The poor brother actually fell from a third floor of a house. In his letter to the Corinthians, Apostle Paul greeted his good friends and fellow workers, Aquila and Priscilla, and those who were gathered in their home for church meetings. I get it. We all miss gathering in our houses of worship. But hey, doing our church meetings in our houses isn't totally a bad idea after all. It's biblical. It's apostolic. And given today's coronavirus threat, it is even a safer alternative. One of these days, our government will lift up the social distancing policy and we will be back in no time gathering in our houses of worship. And while we are gathering in our homes, remember that our God is still God and our Lord is still our Lord. So let's stay reverent before Him. Engage the Spirit of God through praising, praying, and listening intently to God's message. Give online and kneel as well. When you do these things, our houses will become truly become houses of worship. This is my take on Church Home. Stay safe.